When discussing positional entropy, you must first define the positional possibilities within the system of interest. Now, let's not get worried about being bogged down in the details of any terminology, but these different positional probabilities are called cohorts. Let's take a look at a simple example, namely this two-bulb system. Here we have two bulbs connected by a valve. Our system is the entire two-bulb apparatus, that's the system. Now this system contains two cohorts, namely the bulb on the left and the bulb on the right. And as you can see, these two bulbs are connected by a valve. Our system is the entire two-bulb apparatus. Now a simplification we're going to make here is that it's not possible for a particle to occupy a position within the valve which I guess seems reasonable enough. Now the cartoon of this two bulb system consists of a left and a right cohort containing a number of particles, oh probably about 50 represented by those pink circles. Now this system of 50-ish particles actually has a couple of drawbacks as I'm trying to explain this. First, it's not really enough particles to represent anything close to an actual real system of a collection of gas particles. As you might imagine, a real system wouldn't contain just 50 particles. It actually would contain something like an Avogadro's number, or 10 to the 23rd number of particles. Now, the second drawback of the 50-particle system we're looking at right now is that 50 particles is actually too many to introduce the basic ideas of positional entropy within the confines of a PowerPoint slide. Basically, even with only 50 particles, the math starts to get a little too hairy for me. So, what we're going to do is we're going to simplify the system even more. But before doing that, let's introduce one more term. <clears throat> that is, a particular arrangement of the particles within the system, among the cohorts, is referred to as a microstate. This slide happens to show two different microstates. The first one where all the particles are in the left-hand cohort or bulb, and then the second one on the bottom, where the particles are about evenly distributed between the two cohorts. This makes life easier. Instead of worrying about the particulars of every single particle, we'll be concerned with the overall microstate. Again, remember, entropy is a property of a collection of particles. So, we get to focus on this overall arrangement of the collection. It's a collective property, once again, not a property about individual particles, molecules, or atoms. Next up, our simplification. <clears throat> 